Are you there, Mulder? Yeah. What I was saying was those two people there are the two of the nicest people we've ever moored next to. We've been in Middlewich for two two days. Okay, you take over. Oh, I'll take over now. Just just a bit of housekeeping. Oh hello, why has that moved? Before we came away, I had some blood tests, didn't I? Yeah. And today is Wednesday. Uh, the doctor rang me on Monday and said, I've got the results of your blood tests. Because I've started losing all sensation in my feet, which isn't as nice as it sounds. And he rang me and he said, your vitamin B12 is fine, but your vitamin D is practically non-existent. Do you ever go out in the sunshine? <laughs> uh, yes, quite a lot. So, more tablets. But we do like Middlewich, don't we? Oh, apart from the Middlewich Massive, but that's, that's a completely different video. We've only come from just around that bend. What's the matter? And we were the fourth boat at this <laughs> first lock. We're only doing two locks today. But we're next in. Well, I wasn't expecting that. First lock of the day, only up half a mile away from where we moored and there were four boats in front of us sun shining vitamin D that's not some that's not something you see every day an alpaca taking himself for a walk oh well I've had one of those rare moments where Tom's provided me with refreshments. Well, better be careful, he's listening. Right, this is bridge 24. We're going to bridge 5. That's depressing. No, because a lot of them are quite close together. That is depressing. And there's only one lock. We've just passed a load of moored boats, so guess what? Well, we're going from snail to slightly faster snail. Our engines never ticked over this fast. 1200 RPM. <laughs> Even the dog's frightened, it's like a white knuckle ride. Yeah. Vitamin D. I'm vitamin D deficient, you know. I, I, I never come out in this weather. <laughs> oh, bless you. Oh, I forgot. Have you had some of that caustic soda beckonase? No, I haven't. Do you want some? Yeah, go on. I'll share it with you, as soon as I will share a bed with you. It's like putting toothpaste up your nose. Well, I've never put toothpaste up my nose. And don't even mention putting toothpaste on your genitals, because I haven't done that either. This is our emergency hay fever treatment that we keep on the boat. It's probably not very have, have you, safe that we boat. Yeah, I've, I've cleaned it, I've cleaned you've it. You've taken the cap off. Is it? The your bloody nose. Oh, I could never do cocaine. Well, cocaine does not feel like that. Allegedly. Uh, dude, oh, God, Ben, it's burnt. It's burnt. Help. <laughs> What's so different about that one to the one we've got at home? That is! Well, yes, I understand that. Well, which joke shop did you buy it from? Morrison's, says a lot. Certainly does. 
So this video is brought to you by Red Red Nose Productions. Ah. Yeah, but after a while you have to blow your nose because if you don't it burns your throat. Isn't there a day called Red Nose Day? Oh, I'm going to get a strike off YouTube. Oh, you get a strike <laughs> anyway. Be a strike for being boring. The funny thing is, if you just happen to have the radio on in the background and it's playing a tune and your camera picks it up, you get a, a nasty warning off YouTube about all the money that we earn off YouTube. What, nothing? Zero. We wouldn't want money, what are you on about? The, 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 the owner of the music that's played on the radio Claim, puts a claim in for all the revenue that you get off it. A bit difficult if you've got three or four different songs that I fight it out for themselves. But the point I'm getting to is they don't like that, but I can be as offensive as I want and nobody says anything. <laughs> now listen, we're coming up to a potential crisis spot. Why? The railway line. No, now, fine for me. We live. In a yellow submarine. A, a couple hundred yards away from the West Coast Main Line and between where HS2 is going. And I am actually terrified of trains. And I have been known, there's, there's a bridge coming up with a, a train track. I have been known to scream hysterically if a train goes over when we're going underneath it. Which, from an autistic man, it's funny being scared of trains. It absolutely is. I don't believe in stereotypes. Yeah. So I'll put, I'll press record when we get there. We're just approaching said railway bridge, but there's about slalom, isn't it? Man? Yeah, there's a boat coming up. We just met Patricia, one of the stone boats on that bridge there. But we see Patricia everywhere, don't we? On oh, that other one, what's that other one? Something leaf. Maple leaf. Yeah, yeah that ma maple leaf has been down there. That's the trouble with us and everybody else cruising in the same bit canal all the time. <laughs> but I'm going to leave the camera running whilst we uh, negotiate this moving obstacle and see if a train comes and I will go hysterical. No two ways about it. It's times like this I wish we had a smaller boat again. <laughs> I mean look at this dinky little thing. Right. Is what? Is that a boat moving? There's a boat moving. Oh yeah, yeah. We we claim this bridge. There's a boat coming. <laughs> and. If a train comes and the boat comes, it'll be a you've been framed 250 quid moment because I'm leaping off this. Right, you're going to have to watch me on the side, Tom. Can you, can you keep an eye on that? I can't see that boat now from here. Just tell me that they've slowed down. Am I all right your side? Pardon? Are you right for a minute? You're right now, what? Yeah, yeah. Well, we seem to have got away with that without any trains. We're going to have a lie down now, leave the boat on autopilot. Are you on? We're on, mother. Now? Now? If my mother's on. Close your ears because, right, 
Should we talk serious addictions? Yeah, I'm falling into the canal. I have a serious addiction. Can you pull me back up again? Yeah, where are you going? I lost my balance. I can't. <laughs> no, seriously. Are you are you with us now? Yeah. Right. My serious addiction is to Diet Coke. And we were talking to a guy yesterday who said, oh, you really need to stop it. And as lovely as he was, how many cigarettes did he smoke a day? But that wasn't the important bit. When I spent three hours sitting on the towpath talking to them last night, he said, where's Bubbles? <laughs> I said, Bubbles? So if you're watching, because I know, I know you know where we are now, he's still bubbling. Mind you, I, I could do with a bit of bubbling as well. I get through probably, on average, you see from at home, only like a bottle and a half. But on the boat, sometimes it's two to three. But I'm happy. I'm not, a, you know, it's only a bit of bloody cola. Well, in this weather, I could drink a full one of them and not have a wee. <laughs> so we're having E150 caramel. Well, that's what she has. Probably what makes the dog loopy. Sweetness, caffeine. They give you cancer. Acid. Well, hey, we're having acid. Acid. Is there any vitamin D in there? No. Mm. No. Well, the thing is that, right. Come on, vitamin D. Apparently, I need more of you. I don't smoke. I don't drink. I don't do drugs. I don't do not anything. The only thing I do. Oh, it's really boring. You see there? Or eat, eat. Or play on your PS5. I do have a PlayStation. I'm 36. <laughs> thing is, though, he thinks it's weird that I've got a, a, a game at 36, but I know people that game have been in the 50s. Well, I don't know how old I was when Space Invaders first came out, but a group of us drove to Blackpool just because it was the only place where they'd got a Space Invaders machine. And that's... How old I am, folks? Uh, what's happening at the moment, Tom? My favourite activity. Well, you can't, you can't see because it it, we haven't seen it. Right, we've got this boat, right? And it's really weird. One minute it's up your chuff, yeah. and like, oh my God, oh my God. And then we don't see it for 10 minutes. We're on a particularly twisty, turny piece of canal. Yeah, but where does it keep going? With phantom bridges. We've got a phantom boat. And um, they'll appear in a second. Well, I don't understand it because one minute they're there and well, they're really close. I'm they're... under pressure because there's a lot not far away and this one, there'll be blood. What? There'll be blood involved if Why? I let them get... What? Well, I am really nice to you. Yeah, uh, unless we've got somebody up a chuff who's trying to get to the lock in front of us. But that's not going to happen, I won't let you do it. No, I know. Sorry, engine. We've, we've never been up to 1,500 RPM before. You're lying no, sausage. We're... 1,200. Yeah, I know, but we were on 1,500. Domestic. Right, this, this one's for boating David. We're just approaching bridge 12. There's no guarantee that we'll get through it any better than you did the other day. <laughs> but I've, we reserve... Oh, that's useful. Somebody hanging their arm out the boat. Shall we take it with us? What? That arm. Are you at the, are you, what are you now? Boating police? Well, I'm the arm and leg fender brigade. So anyway, Boating David, if you just wait wait a minute or two. Well that boat seems to have disappeared. Hey uh Now cover your ears because we're getting the big boys out for this bend. Sorry? <laughs> I you say cover me. cover your ears. You know we meet a boat <coughs> on this bend. Normally. I've gone in a tree. Why have you gone in a tree? Because I was talking to the lady. Someone 
Okay, Tom, here goes. He's on strict instructions to warn me because I've got tennis to speak. Well, the, the thing is... He didn't warn me last time. I said warn I, me and he didn't. I, I know, but whoever's coming the other way will take no notice of it. But I'll give him another blast. Yeah, no, but it makes my tennis just words. Well, so that will be crash. We seem to have lost that eye boat that's up at Chuff. We think that they, they couldn't figure out how to open the bottle while they were still cruising. So they've pulled in to open some wine bottles. You don't know that. Right, cover your ears. <laughs> Poor dog! Well, I'm not tooting anymore and I'm not stopping. Now I'm on your side. Hello? Well, I won I wonder. You were doing fine. Don't know why I asked him. I know what what happens with these bridges when you're not looking, they leap three foot to the left. Anyway, we didn't meet any boats. Oh. I'm going to push it out. That's nasty. We, we met somebody, front camera might have got it, and he was bouncing all over the place. And I think I commented on the way down, it's barely wide enough for a boat. Uh, it's a good job we haven't got anything important painted on the side of our boat. Well, we've hardly seen a boat on the move all day and they're all at this lock. I'm trying to do it without mooring up. Hmm. Better stop recording, this won't be pretty. Hmm. We've only done two locks today, but they seem to have been hard work. And before anybody thinks about it, no, we're not tempted to go back to the Langholm. No way. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Just don't run afar. When I was saying to you, is it far? I think you thought I meant 
because it was not it's not. I'm not Tunisian, so I know where the next oh, yeah. is. What I was saying was I meant the right. next boat. Oh, I was talking about this boat. I was saying you could far. Oh, yeah. So I hopped on that boat uh, <laughs> so that she's gonna go see if she's gonna have it. Wait. 